And finally, to this week's teacher spotlight, where Joseph takes a look at Mr. Crossman. Being an English teacher, it's been enlightening to see what kids do and don't know and how they start understanding their the language they speak and read and how they communicate. I'm trying to break some old habits too. Mr. Crossman has experienced many things and he's going to tell us about his greatest accomplishments here at DHS. My greatest accomplishments, probably just seeing kids succeed. I know that seems kind of minor, but it goes a long way when kids understand things that you think that they're going to struggle with, where they, if that light kicks on in their head, they go, oh, I get this now, and that's probably one of the better things. Mr. Crowsman is a great English teacher, and he'll now talk to us about his motivation to become one. I do history by nature, so but history and English are really much part and parcel with each other. It's just more of the mechanics, so it's taking what I already do and just looking at the actual structure of language as opposed to the context of what you're learning. Mr. Crowsman will now share about what it's like being in the Marine Corps. Uh, that was a mixture of either a lot of excitement or a lot of boredom, you know. Training is hard, but it's meant to be. Then you go to fleet and then you're pretty much a person like you are now going to work, except you have to show up to work or you get in a lot of trouble. We also have one of Mr. Crowsman's students to talk to us about his experience learning in his class. It's entertaining. It's very funny. He's a funny teacher. But I'm not going to lie, the work is kind of hard. The work is definitely hard. You got to you gotta be on that or you're going to have a great like me. I'm working on that, but no, nah, but it's definitely hard. I mean, got you working hard. But yeah, it's funny. It's cool. It's pretty chill class. Do your work. Don't be like me. I'm Joseph Diaz, and thank you for watching.